Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Outriders video. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can transfer uh, your legendary gear, how you can transfer resources, titanium, mods to your uh, secondary characters from your main character. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so in order to transfer items uh, to your secondary character, you will need to use your uh, stash box. So basically, as soon as you place something in your stash and then you log in with your other character, you will be able to pick it out from here. But the thing is, is that with your main character, if depending on how far you've progressed, like I've progressed for instance uh, to uh, Expeditions CT15, and I'm able to do this one, I haven't yet to do this one yet, I need to finish upgrading the main gear. Uh, but uh, as soon as you kind of like want to transfer mods, for instance, your top tier mods from the main character to your uh, secondary character, what you will need to do is go speak with Zahidi and uh, start upgrading uh, the weapons that you want to uh, send it to him, right, to your secondary character, but uh, you will need to apply the mods. So for example, if I were to um, transfer these mods, I would just apply, make them uh, have the mods that I would like for my uh, secondary character to get or you can do that with ev with all of them right so you pretty much apply the mods to the weapons to the armor and then you chop it in the stash and then you log in with your uh, secondary character alright so now you log in with your secondary character this guy is level 3 just just reach to this territory you open the stash and you pick up the stuff that you wanna sell with these guys I only sell because you get a decent amount of scrap for the top tier well not the top tier I'm going to sell the blues and you will oh, be able to gear up a little bit one. so another side tip over here by the way I figured Suckers. it out on t on uh, expedition t uh, tier 14 by mistake if you want to sell quickly and not just tap in one by one one by one you select them all right now and only then you speak to the trader I'm gonna do a separate video on this by the way uh, afterwards you go to the sell menu and you sell and you got 53k uh, scrap on a level 3 character so now you can go Ain't ahead and free. Uh, gear up Alter so you see this costs like easy <laughs> alright but in order to transfer mods you will need to progress in the storyline and uh, once you progress you will need to go to the next section and save Zahidi so right now I'm gonna log in with another secondary character that I have who has progressed that far but there is an important side note over there so have that in mind All right, one second before I get to the side note uh, let me show you where you get Zahidi where you unlock him so you, once you get to the first city right uh, you will uh, through the main storyline uh, progress and unlock Zahidi Zahidi is the guy that uh, does all the crafting so this guy right here so uh, once you've transferred uh, your stuff in the stash, right, so you only just need to pick it all up and you will need to dismantle everything because when you dismantle you will unlock the mods. So for example, if I show you my mods first, One I already moment. tested this, so I, would like to hear more I already uh, unlocked some mods. So if we go for example to um, level 9 boots, right, you can see I got a lot of tier 2, but I don't have any uh, tier 3. Now I did upgrade some weapons of mine uh, and uh, in place tier three you, uh, mods, right? Waking up in so the as you can see, at the moment I don't have any tier three mods, right, on this specific character. So what you will need to do is scrap, dismantle them. Boom, boom. And by the way, by dismantling the purple ones, the epic ones, you get titanium. Look how much titanium this guy has: five thousand seven hundred titanium. That is insane. So. Dismantle, boom. You get resources. Resources is needed to upgrade your gear, essentially. So then we go back to Zahidi, upgrade my gear, go to the weapons, go to the mods, and as you can see, I got tier 3 mods available on my level 10 character. <laughs> now, why would you want to do this? Well, first of all, I didn't do the uh, didn't do the cells for so he doesn't have a lot of scrap. Uh, but the thing is, now what I can do is upgrade my gear. 
So improve rarity, right? There you go. Only 50 uh, titanium is required. Boom. And I select the mod that I would prefer the most. And that would be adrenaline. So then I can upgrade this, right? Increase rarity. See, it requires leather. So boom. There we go. Now we can select a mod. And I'm going to select uh, base layer status power. Turn explodes before being destroyed. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Then we can upgrade it again. Ooh, ice trap is not is a number one thing I recommend like for all builds. So basically, what this does is when you hit when you are hit to 30% of your HP, it freezes the enemies and you have chance to take cover to heal yourself and etc. So this thing, man, I'm using it with all my builds. So actually, this is a really good piece. Anomaly power and so on and so forth. So then I go and upgrade my pants. <laughs> Uh, three percent damage dealt using minigun uh, heals you after the ability ends. Okay, cool. And so on and so forth. So I'm gonna get, grab this one because I'm using those skills. Diffuse. I'll take this one. And so on. So you get the point. You can do that with armor, with the weapons, etc. Now the the cool thing is, like for example, oh yeah, I'm tier yeah right. Now level nine. So let's say for example. I'm really satisfied actually with this specific coat. So in order for it to match up with my current level, I need to upgrade it. And you can go ahead and upgrade all of your armor. So in this case, you'll be able to set up your perfect uh, epic build at the very start. And you will not like waste time of trying to get yourself gear uh, to progress. Because you know, once you level up, you level up your world tier, you level up, uh, the enemies they will become much, much stronger. So now if you get all the stuff that you want uh, front, right, you will be able to, you leveled up, go back to the city, upgrade your gear, and you're good to go. So this is what I plan to do when I'm going to be leveling my uh, secondary characters. At the moment, I'm still uh, trying to get some more loot. So that's, uh, oh yeah, the important side note that I forgot to mention, because that is actually very, very, very important. Uh, the thing is, what happened? when I've unlocked Zahidi with this character right for some reason with my devastator account with my devastator character uh, I managed to loot these gloves right here which matches hey where are they uh -huh. oh, I think I forgot to put them in the trunk oh those were not gloves those were actually boots so as you can see I got the boots for my technomancer uh, the thing is, uh, I've been playing a lot with my dev, and I've never, ever, ever got anything that did not match my class. Just like loot with uh, world mods, how I call them, is the ones mods that can that all classes can use. Uh, but ever since before this video, I progressed with my Technomancer until Zahidi, and unlocked the ability to uh, like mod, do the mods. And I did a few more runs to get some more gear for this video, and I got this. So I'm not quite sure that that is the thing, but I don't believe in coincidences. And I think that if you will progress with a secondary character until Zahidi, you will start getting uh, gear for your other characters as well, meaning their own uh, kind of sets and stuff like that. So have that in mind. I'm actually not going to progress any other more characters until Zahidi because first I want to get some sets for this guy like for example I already managed to get one of the sets and all five pieces but you need three in order for it to work but all five pieces and that's for this uh, golem thing and it really looks friggin epic uh, and I'm going to think of a build uh, for this specific set I mean because the gear uh, visually it looks just amazing I'm, I'm gonna do a separate video reviewing like sets and how they look like etc so there we go let's supply that over here that over here that over here that over here and oh wrong boots that one right there so look at this this looks freaking beautiful epic but I'm not really happy with the mods like here let me show you the mods I haven't played with them yet so these are the ones that you get uh, whenever 
you drop like as a dev you will get this because I've noticed that the legendary gear set ones definitely give you uh, in build uh, mods right because I got these boots twice I think I still have a copy in my trunk and you can see that uh, it's exactly the same uh, mods so let's go to the boots stash I think I dismantled those but anyway uh, this guy is selling them so you can see and compare the mods all right there we go let's go there you go boots see they are exactly the same but this guy these things are level 50 and mine are level 47 because I got them on a different tier uh, so yeah you get the point point. and by the way very important thing when you're modding make sure you put the mod in the correct slot because if you mess up you will not be able to return it like for example let's say you really love the made of marble mod right and you want to get rid of bleeding impulse and when you mod some put another mod instead of uh, made of marble like on its place you will not be able to return it so meaning you just messed up your legendary because that bleeding impulse let's say for example is trash for your build let's just as just an example I wasted like three or four legendaries because of that <laughs> and now every time I get something that I want first I just simply like focus and no speed running on that decision so yeah that's uh, pretty much it uh, in regards to the important note with uh, if you uh, progress is a heady will you start getting uh, legendaries from another Thanks. class it's a theory of mine it's not 100% but as I said I don't believe in coincidences so I'm pretty sure that that's the case if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you want your comments to be read positive negative whichever feel free to comment just don't swear that's all I ask and if you're new and you subscribe welcome to Z Clan I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine so hi from Ukraine if you want to join our discord server we're over 800 members over there feel free to do so the link is down in the video description and uh, in a few days I think I'm going to be creating a separate character category for this game so we can set up teams to like do the CT15 and stuff like that because this game is crossplay so that's actually pretty cool and I'll get to play with other members with whom I wasn't able to play because there was because I'm on Xbox hey and yeah and uh, if you want to watch some of the live streams the link is down in the video description to my uh, twitch channel so I'll see you there and uh, thanks all for watching once again you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lucky like at gamers Z soul signing out Hi from Ukraine, I'll see you later. Bye. From the